I'm Johnny with Balloon Animals Palm Beach and today I'm going to show you how to make a black and white Betty Boop balloon. I also have a full color Betty Boop balloon video, I'll talk about that at the end. So um, this is what she looks like. Yeah, okay, all right. What you're gonna need is four gray 260s, four black 260s, four black 160s, two white 160s, one gray 350, and one black five inch round. Grab your black 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight or nine finger tail. Then you're going to start by making an eight finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Make a small four finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Make a second pinch twist. Now you're going to make another small four finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Make an eight finger bubble. Twist that into the nozzle of the other eight finger bubble. Pull that through. Now you're just gonna make a six finger bubble. And you're gonna pull that up and twist into the two pinch twists in the middle. Get rid of the extra, tie that off. Here's what you should have so far. Two pinch twists in the middle, one on either end. This is gonna be the top of her dress. Grab your next black 260 and inflate it so you have about a 10 finger tail. Take the nozzle and you're going to wrap it into the pinch twist on the side of the top of her dress here. Then you're just going to, then you're just gonna give it a slight arch and wrap it into the middle pinch twists. To give the top of her dress that sort of heart shape. And repeat the process on the other side here. Just give it a slight arch. Or is it arch? Wrap it into the pinch twist, get rid of the extra. Save this, we're gonna use it for her mouth. So this is what it should look like now. Okay. Grab your next black 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Now you're just going to do a 10 finger bubble and then a small three finger bubble. Do another 10 finger bubble the same size as this one. Twist those two together, pull the nozzle through to lock that into place. Do another 10 finger bubble, a three finger bubble, and one last 10 finger bubble. Twist those together, pull the tail through to lock it into place. So that's the shape you should have. Grab your next black 260 and inflate it so you have about a 12 finger tail. Make a pinch twist. Take the pinch twist and you're going to twist it into the top of this uh, two finger bubble here. Or three finger bubble, I mean. Wrap that in. Now you're gonna make a two finger bubble. Make another two finger bubble a third two finger bubble, a fourth two finger bubble. Then you're gonna twist this into the opposite side pinch twist by pushing the balloon through these two bubbles here and lock it into place. Push it back through, twist it around. Now you're gonna make a one finger bubble, another one finger bubble. You wanna twist that into this opposite side of the three finger bubble that you just twisted into by pushing it in between these two bubbles, wrapping it around. So now you're ready to make this on, uh, across once again. So you're gonna make a two finger bubble, a second two finger bubble, a third two finger bubble, 
a fourth two finger bubble. Now you're gonna twist this into the balloon on the opposite side. So push it in between these two bubbles and wrap it around and push it in between again. So it's locked into place. Now do a one finger bubble and a second one finger bubble and just twist into the pinch twist that you started with. Get rid of the extra, tie that off. So here's what you should have so far. A string of bubbles surrounding the base of the skirt, sort of triangular shape. That's the top, that's the bottom. Now we're just gonna take this tail here and we're going to tie the top of the skirt uh, dress onto the bottom of the dress. So that's her dress so far. Grab your gray 260 and inflate it so it has about an eight or nine finger tail. Make a pinch twist. Make a seven finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Make a four finger bubble. Now you're gonna wrap that into the pinch twist on the side of her dress here. So this comes out one side and the rest of the balloon comes out the other. You're gonna bring it across to the center of her dress and make a twist and then wrap that into the black pinch twist here. You can just push it through and pull it around, push it through the other side, pull it around. Now you're gonna go ahead and draw it across and twist it into the black pinch twist on the opposite side. Make a four finger bubble, make a pinch twist, make a seven finger bubble, make a pinch twist, get rid of the extra, tie it off. Now you're gonna take these two pinch twists and twist them together. So that's her hands and her elbows, her arms. Grab your next gray 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight or nine finger tail. Then you're gonna take the nozzle and you're going to twist it into this black pinch twist on the side of the dress. Then you just want to draw the balloon across the dress to the middle. Make a twist and wrap that in so you can just tuck it through. And tuck it back through. So now it's coming out the back center and you wanna draw it down to her waist, twist it into her waist all the way around and then you wanna just come back up, make another twist and you wanna twist that in. So just pull it over and down. Underneath that pinch twist, tuck it through here so that it's really wrapped into the dress. And now you're just going to draw it back across to make a matching, a bubble that matches this one on this side. So draw it across and wrap it into the black pinch twist. Get rid of the extra. So this is what the back should look like. That's the top. Here's the front of her dress and her arms. That's what it looks like from the side. Now we're ready to go ahead and do her legs. So grab your gray 260 and inflate it so you have about a six or seven finger tail. You're gonna make a pinch twist to begin with. Then you wanna make a 10 finger balloon bubble and you wanna twist this into 
the pinch twist that you started uh, to wrap around her skirt with. Now you're going to make a bubble to just go across the side of her skirt here and you want to lock this twist into there so you're just going to push it through these other bubbles here to twist it around and lock it into that twist there. Then you just bring it down and make another 10 finger bubble and twist that into the pinch twist. This pinch twist is her knee. Now you're going to make a 7 finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Get rid of the extra. You want to save this. We're going to use it in a minute. Tie that off. Grab your next gray 260 and inflate it so you have about a six or seven finger tail. Then you're going to make a pinch twist. Make a 10 finger bubble. And you're going to twist that into the other side of her skirt. So you just push it through, lock it into place. Now you're going to make a bubble to span her skirt here and just lock that into place by pulling the balloon through and around. Make another 10 finger bubble. Twist that into this pinch twist here. Make a 7 finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Now you're just going to go ahead and twist. These are her knees, these two pinch twists. You're going to twist those two pinch twists together. And then you want to, these are her feet, twist those two pinch twists together. So that's what it should look like for her legs. This is the back, this is the front, these are the sides. Grab your black 160 and inflate it so you have about a 10 or 11 finger tail. Now you're just going to take this nozzle and you're going to wrap it around the two pinch twists that are her feet. Then you're going to go ahead and wrap the balloon all the way around the two pinch twists and make a twist when it's where you want it to be, then you just pull it out so that you can twist that loop off. So now you have a loop, then tuck the pinch twist back through. Now you're going to make a pinch twist in the black 160. Then you want to make a four finger bubble, make a second four finger bubble, twist those two bubbles together. Then you're just going to push this balloon in between her calves. And you're going to go ahead and draw it in between the two pinch twists that are her feet. Tuck it through the loop that you've made around those two pinch twists and just twist it into the pinch twist at the back of her legs here. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Then what you do is you just kind of pull these two four finger bubbles open and push this black bubble through and that locks the shape in like that. So you have the high heels coming down and that's the front of the shoes and the bottom side. Now you can grab your black five inch round and you want to inflate it just enough to fill in the skirt. So just measure, stick it under the skirt and deflate or inflate as needed. Mine ended up being about from the top to the bottom, about 10 fingers. So 
So now you're just gonna push that up under her skirt and grab the nozzle and twist it into her waist to fill in her dress there. Okay, so now we're ready to put on her garter belt. Grab your white 160 and inflate it so you have about a 12 or 13 finger tail. Then you're just going to wrap it around the two bubbles that are her thigh and just twist the nozzle and into the balloon there. Get rid of the extra, tie that off, and then just tie those two ends together. Take the rest of the white 160 scrap and we're gonna make her bracelets. So I've inflated it till I have about a three, two or three finger tail. And you're just going to take this and wrap it around her wrist to measure how long of a bubble you need. Make a twist, get rid of the extra. Save this for her other bracelet. Tie this off. And then just take and tie it around her arm here by tying the two tail ends together. Do the same thing with the other arm. So now she has her two bracelets and let's go ahead and add a little accessory to her garter belt here. Grab your black 160 and inflate it so you have about 10 fingers of inflated balloon. Make a small one finger bubble. Make a second small one finger bubble. Twist those two bubbles together and then twist them in place to turn them into two pinch twists. Make one more one finger bubble. Turn that into a pinch twist as well. So you have three pinch twists. Get rid of the extra, tie that off. Then you're just going to twist those onto the white balloon. That's her garter belt. Get rid of any tails. And do her head. Grab your gray 350 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Then you're going to begin by making a small pinch twist. Make, give the balloon a squish, make an eight finger bubble. Make another small pinch twist. Give the balloon a squish, draw it across, wrap it into the pinch twist on the opposite side. Give the balloon a squish, draw it across, wrap it into the pinch twist on the opposite side. Give it a squish, draw it across, wrap it into the pinch twist on the opposite side. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. So you should have four bubbles all together. And usually I end up with one that's a little bigger than the other one and that's the one I want on top. Now you want to grab one of the gray 260 scraps, not the longest one, save the longest one. And inflate it so it has about 10 fingers of inflated balloon. And you're just going to push this through the middle of these four bubbles here. So it's sticking out about a finger or two on one end and a couple of fingers on the other end. Grab your black 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Now you're just going to go ahead and make a twist in this gray 
balloon here and wrap the nozzle into that twist. Just tie it onto that gray balloon. Now you want to make a four finger bubble and then a two finger bubble and twist this into the gray pinch twist. Now you're going to make a two finger bubble, a two finger bubble, and one last two finger bubble. Twist that onto this gray balloon here. Make another small two finger bubble, small two finger bubble, a third small two finger bubble. Twist that into the gray pinch twist. Make a two finger bubble and a four finger bubble. Same size as this one. And twist that into the gray balloon. Get rid of the extra and tie this in place. That's what you should have. Now grab your longest gray 260 scrap and inflate it so you have about a one finger tail. Give it a little bit of a bend on the end. So it just has a slight curve and you're going to take and tie this into this twist right here. Then you just want to draw it across to the center and twist it into the gray balloon where the black balloons are twisted in. Then you're going to draw it across, give it a little bit of a bend. When you reach the end there, make a twist, get rid of the extra. Tie that off and tie this into the twist on the opposite side as the one you started with. If at all possible, you want this bubble and this bubble to be the same size. So that's what you have now. Grab your black 260 scrap and inflate it so you have about 10 fingers of inflated balloon. Make a small one finger bubble. Make a second small one finger bubble. Get rid of the extra, leaving yourself a nice tail so that you can tie the two tails together. And then you just want to twist the two bubbles in place to turn them into two pinch twists. Then you just take your two pinch twists and twist them into in between these two gray bubbles here. Those are her lips. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish off her hair. So grab your black 160 and inflate it so you have about a six finger tail. Then you're gonna make a small three finger bubble with a bend half in the middle. A bend in the middle. So it looks like that. You wanna twist this into the face right here. So you just push it through this little gap to lock it in. Wrap these around each other. Now you're gonna draw this balloon across the back of the head to the same twist on the other side and wrap it in there. So just push the balloon back through the little gap. Pull it all the way through so you can lock that twist into place there. Make a little three finger bubble with a bend in the middle. Get rid of the extra. Save this for the rest of her hair. Tie this off. So that's what it looks like so far. Make a little three finger bubble with a bin in the middle. Let's 
So you have that little bent shape again. You're gonna twist this into the gray pinch twist. Just gonna go ahead and draw the balloon across the back of the head and wrap it into the pinch twist on the opposite side. Make a small three finger bubble with the bend in the middle. Get rid of the extra. Grab your next black 160. And inflate it so you have about a six finger tail. Make a small three finger bubble with a bend in the middle. Then you're gonna twist this into the twist right here. So push that bubble through, wrap these around each other, draw the balloon across the back of the head, and twist it into the matching pinch twist on the opposite side. I mean the matching twist on the opposite side. Make a little three finger bubble with the bend in the middle. Get rid of the extra. Save this for the rest of her hair. Make a little three finger bubble with a bend in the middle. Twist this into the twist right here at the top of the head. Draw the balloon across the back of the head and twist it into the pinch twist on, I mean twist it into the head at the opposite side. Make a little three finger bubble with the bend in the middle. Get rid of the extra. Turn the bubble at the top of her head, the gray bubble, into a pinch twist. Get rid of any tails. So that's what the front looks like, that's the back. If you want to add some extra black in to fill this in, you can, I never do. Now she's ready for her earrings, so grab your white 160 and inflate it so it has about a 9 or 10 finger tail. Then you're just going to tuck the nozzle in between this gray balloon and this black balloon so that you can measure the earring. The earring just wraps around this gray bubble here. When you see how long you need the earring, just make a twist, get rid of the extra. Save this for her other earring. Tie it off. And then just tie this balloon around the gray bubble that's her cheek. Repeat the process on this side. Grab your scrap. you can do is just let uh, make a little one finger gray bubble let, let the rest of the air out and tie this use this tail after you tie it off use the tail to attach her head to her body by just wrapping that into the black pinch twist on her dress You just attach her head. Now she's ready for her artwork. I use a black Sharpie and a white Sharpie paint pen. And that's her artwork. I just add some little ringlets around her head, then her eyebrows and some big, big circles for her eyes and a tiny little squiggle for her nose. So that's Betty Boop in black and white. Um, the full color Betty Boop video uh, uses heart balloons and is just a slightly different design. 
So you can check that out as well. You can, if you like the video, click like below, or you can leave me feedback in the comments section. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do release videos on a regular basis, or you can check me out on Facebook or my website, balloonanimalspalmbeach.com. Thanks.